Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching an instructional video called Routing Loops. One serious network problem happens when the data packet is continuously routed through the same routers over and over. This is called a routing loop. The data packet continues to be routed within the network in an endless circle because of incorrect information in the routing tables. A routing loop can have catastrophic impact on the network and in some cases completely disable the network. Normally routing loops are associated with distance vector protocols. The reason for this is that none of the routers have a complete topology of the network. They only know the very next address that they need to send the packet to, but not where the packet goes after that. Let's look at how a routing loop might occur. Suppose we had three routers, routers A, router B, and router C. Router C is directly connected to the 10.4 network. Router C will advertise to router B that is connected to the 10.4 network. And router B will advertise to router A that it has a connection to the 10.4 network. In router C routing table, it shows that it's only zero hops away, meaning it is directly connected. In routers B routing table, it says that it is only one hop away from the 10.4 network. And in router A routing table, it says that it's only two hops away from the 10.4 network. Suppose router C connection to the 10.4 network was to fail. Router C would look for another connection to the 10.4 network. If we did not have techniques to prevent routing loop, what might happen is router B might advertise to router C that it has a connection to the 10.4 network, which is only one hop away, not realizing that this information came from C originally. So what might happen is that router C will put in its routing table that router B has a connection to the 10.4 network, and it will say that it is two hops away. Router B will then change its tables to say that C has a connection to the 10.4 network, which is three hops away. Router B will then advertise to router A that the connection to the 10.4 network is four hops away for router A. Thus, if somebody from the 10.1 network was to ping the 10.4 network, the ping packet will travel from router A to router B to router C, which will then bring it back to B and then back to C. And the connection between B and C will form a routing loop. The following are methods used to prevent routing loops. Maximum hop is the number of routers a packet will transverse before it is dropped. Split horizon means a router will not advertise a route out of the same interface through which it learned the route. Route poisoning means the router will advertise a route as unreachable when it detects the connected route is down. Poison reverse means when a router learns of a route through an interface, the router will advertise the route as unreachable back through the same interface. Hold down timer is the amount of time a router will not listen to routing updates about a specific route after it is advertised as being down. In the illustration, we see that there are three routers connected together. Router 1, Router 2, and Router 3. 
Router 2 has the laptop connected to it, and Router 3 has the server connected to it. Router 3 has been advertising to Router 1 and Router 2 that the network with the server is directly connected to itself. In other words, Router 3 tells both Router 1 and Router 2 that if they need to send a packet to the network with the server on it, it will only take one router hop to get the packet to the network if they send it to Router 3. Router 1 advertises to Router 2 that it knows of a way to get a packet to the server network in two hops. Likewise, Router 2 advertises to Router 1 that it knows how to get the packet to the server's network in two hops. Suppose the routing loop protection on the router was disabled and the interface leading to the server went down on Router 3. What would happen? Router 2 would send the packet to Router 1, and Router 1 would send the packet back to Router 2. This is because Router 3 has advertised that it no longer has a path to the server, but Router 1 still believes that Router 2 has a path that's two hops away, and Router 2 still believes that Router 1 has a path to the server which is two hops away. The packet will continue to loop until its time to live runs out. So having correct router tables is important to an error-free network. In this video, we looked at the concept of routing loops and how we can prevent them. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.